All right, guys, so today we're doing a proposal. Uh, Brody here is proposing to Layla, who is gonna, he's gonna surprise her on a rock. We've got a really cool idea. They think they've won a social media trip. Our buddies from Sky is helping us out. We've got these two creepers gonna be <laughs> hiding in the bushes with long lens. We don't know what the bug situation is gonna be, so we prepared for the worst. Um, should be a lot of fun, so let's go, let's go propose to somebody. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good right now. Like I said, stop by uh, the pub off the street there. Calm the nerves a little bit. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Feeling pretty good though. Awesome, man. Pretty excited. Head off now, so okay. good luck. Thank um, you very much, appreciate it. Appreciate all the help. You nervous yet? Yeah, a little bit. So how'd you meet her? I met Layla, well, I was living in Chicago for three years, just moved back. To With like, hockey or what? Yeah, so I yeah, played hockey at Iowa State and then what, and, and we started working for the bank in Chicago after that. When I moved back, she had moved back. She was living in LA for like three years, something like that. I went out with my brother one night just to go see her, and Layla happened to be there, and boom, it was game over from uh, from the start. How many, how many months till you knew the shoes you were going to propose to her someday? This may sound corny, yeah. but it was honestly the very first date. Why is now the right time? It just, we moved in together a couple months ago, and it just I, I knew it was going to be sometime soon, and then it just feels like now's the time to do it. I'm, I'm going on this big hike in a couple of weeks, and... Uh, I figured I might as well do it before that, so. And so, uh, how, how close are you with uh, her cousin then? We're pretty close, her, like, I mean, she's the one I, I, I leaned, I reached out to originally for this, so she's as close as it comes, so. I think this will uh, definitely surprise her. So where are we going, like right here? Right on the rock. Let's have a quick look and see where, where do you think Probably go up in those like trees right there. Yeah. Looking back at the lake, uh, trying to get a bit of height so, so we can see the water. I all right, so current situation, we're on the rock. We're going to try hiding Moxley somewhere in those trees over there. We're going to see if we can see him or not. Yeah, if you crouch there, you're good. Devin's on the drone. So that's where Moxley is, right there. Pretty casual. <laughs> Where's the suit? You know what? I thought uh, we're making a pretty big production with everything else that I'm just gonna go as me. You know, nice and casual, and uh, hopefully that does the trick. This is the tip, guys. Just be you. Go as you. How you feel? Really excited. Cool. Slightly nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared of flying then? I'm terrified of flying, but really? this would be a really good experience to sort of get over my fears. This is what we're getting in. Yeah, yes, yes. yeah. How often do you do this? Uh, this ask? is the first flight I've had today. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to it, but... <laughs> Amber shy. Wow. Yeah, so we're going to go... So if you look north, we've got uh, Pine Cove Bird Provincial Park. Uh, Pit Lake in the center there, and then we've got Golden Ears on the right-hand side. We're going to kind of fly off that valley between those two uh, two sets of mountains there, Widgeon Lane or Widgeon Creek, and kind of play Beautiful. around up there. It's pretty sweet up there. So guys, coming up uh, off the nose here, you can kind of see that uh, white part in the trees there, kind of the 12 o'clock. Uh, okay. That is Widgeon Falls. Oh. So Widgeon Lake is behind it. This to me is like the most quintessential sort of BC photo. So it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. There's some cool Beautiful. spots, really cool spots to land. There's this big rock that, that's there that we take a look at. It's pretty cool to go into and land on there. Look at these falls. Look at that. Wow. There's a couple of campers up here. Too. Yeah, so that's the rock over there and that's in the sunshine. So normally we'd land at the beach it's not, not a bad landing spot, but a rock's pretty cool because you get this really sweet view, and it's in the sun. So, I just love that this is like a self-made helipad. Yep. And it's also in the uh, winter time, it's avalanche free. Okay, guys. So just Smooth landing. Love it. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Are there any fish in this place? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is stocked. And you'll see these little kind of dots and circles pop up and yeah. the, the fish actually I would assume probably from the blade slapping they get sort of disturbed and sort yeah. of ripping up to the top. We're pretty lucky to live here guys. Oh yeah. In British Columbia. It's, it's awesome isn't it? Yeah. 
stop recording now. I'll do that. I stay here? Okay. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah okay. that works. Yeah, you do it. Yeah. yeah, you stay here with the camera. I um, want you in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll see. Okay, so what the last I... thing you'd want is for you to freak out. Yeah, exactly. So what am I doing? So basically what we're looking for is, so that like a, approach of us sort of coming in. Yep. So what we'd have you do is basically, you're going to want to face away from, which is kind of counterintuitive. Okay. You're going to want to face away from the helicopter. Yep. Just because it's going to blow, the rotor wash blows little stuff like crazy at you. Yep. So best option is just to kind of stay, you know, crouch for you. You can even sit, oh, just yeah. put your legs over the other Jesus side, and we're just looking for that shot, like, back like that. Okay, not me in it, though. Sure. Yeah, you can put yourself in it. If you can, like, talk to the camera as well. Day one of captivity. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, whatever. Yeah, it's so cool. Okay, like a sky helicopters, content, right? Yeah. yeah, and then I'll get you guys like this. Yeah. Yeah. Ready on 1234, or 1232. Somewhere up behind us to the left, but I'm not sure where he is. Hey Ryan, you got me? Yeah, we got you here, just uh, lifting off. Okay, uh, we are 1,500 feet directly to the, uh, what would it be, uh, southwest of the beach. Hopefully she's talking to the camera right now. She can't hear that drone that's above her. Coming to you live from Widgeon Lake. We're here with Sky Helicopters on a tour. They left me in solitude. They're taking my very terrified cousin for a cruise in the sky. She's loving every minute of it, I'm sure. She's afraid of flying, but not after today. Okay. Good looking face, man. I like the net. It's good. I, like I might keep the net. I might I know. keep it. Let's dial that in. Hey, Ryan, you got me? Yeah, just looking for it. We're, uh, we're about to go. Directly on your six, uh, 500 feet below you. Okay, copy that. Can't even hear the helicopter anymore, so starting to get a little worried, but I don't think the guys over at Sky Helicopters would leave me here, so I'll just be patient. Oh, oh there he is, it's right below us. <laughs> oh, the books must be bad. Old beekeeper down there. Beekeeper Brad. So you're gonna get out. Now remember, don't go anywhere near the back. Okay, see you in a bit. Yeah, so she's facing away with the camp with the GoPro. Oh, she's got the GoPro. Yeah, she's got the GoPro, man. Okay, it's really go time then. <laughs> <laughs> it's go time, brother. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, last last chance for me to go over the falls there and go back <laughs> to Pet Meadows. I might jump out here, boys. This is awesome. Yeah, no, this is great. Yeah, good luck, dude. Thank you very much. I think I hear them coming around the mountain. I'll just have to wait and see. So where is she? Is she on this rock here? Or she no, go she's down? on the left hand side. Oh, it's behind that tree. Crouch down. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, don't look. Don't look. She's looking. Yeah, you're taking pictures. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm talking to myself in the GoPro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we have God. a drone up here, too. Are you okay? Hey, you can come down there if the bugs are killing you. 
I see two people standing on a rock. So, what'd you think? Oh my God. <laughs> so, you turn around, you're standing on a rock. Are you first thinking, why the f did somebody just. I was like, why did they leave me here for so long? Did they forget about me? And I'm talking to the GoPro. And so, you saw him? Yes. Okay, and you thought, what? I thought, oh my God. Is this happening? <laughs> it's all Excuse came my together. language. Yeah, no, no, it's yeah all good. it did. It came together, and I'm still kind of in shock. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Worked out. That is unreal. <laughs> I'm like talking to myself the entire time and there's a guy in the bushes. Oh, that's amazing. It's going to make for a good video. Come and take my hand. All right. Helicopter proposal number two in the books. Hey, Bradley. Hey, 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 hey. Nicely done, bro. So everybody asks me, they're like, hey, can we go flying with you? No, I don't do tours. These guys, right here, can take you to places like this. Right? Right, Moxley? Thank you.